Hi there. Uh, hey. hey, it's Ekraich uh, here. So uh, Tzvi and I just landed uh, here in Vegas and we thought it's a good time, good opportunity to discuss some of the performance and software enhancement of our X2 platform that uh, we're going to announce this Monday. So Tzvi, maybe you'll introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Tzvi Schneider. I'm a chief architect uh, of X3 Mayo. How long have you been with us? Uh, I'm here for uh, an Xtreme I.O. for about six years, I think. Okay. Yeah, I know Tzvi. I just wanted you to know him as well. And wh what do you do for us? Um, chief Architect. Chief Architect, okay. Wow, sounds like a good title. Chief. Yeah, indeed. Chief. Nice. Right, so we just landed, right? I think we're both really, really tired, but... Uh, why don't we take this opportunity and discuss a little bit of X2, mainly around the performance and some of the subtle software enhancement in X2. So, yeah, go ahead. So, um, indeed, as it's mentioned in X2, we looked at, uh, at our performance. And so we started obviously with the, uh, moving forward with the hardware using uh, now new uh, CPUs, stronger CPUs and this gain us some performance improvement. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, what we saw is that that's not enough. It's not, it, it doesn't give us the big, uh, big jump in the, in the performance improvement. And when we started analyzing our, uh, our entire install base, thousands of system in the field, uh, what we actually saw, uh, one very important uh, point, is that majority of user blocks are small blocks right and so what we understood is we must improve in order to give application real good performance and to give significant improvement we must do some real work to improve the latency of uh, small uh, small uh, blocks so that's why we actually introduced the right boost so so white boost is an internal uh marketing term for the fact that we improved our performance numbers in X2, right? Yeah, so actually it's, it's a software uh, a smartness we added to the system in order to improve and uh, uh, significantly, we'll just, we, in a few seconds we'll talk about how much we improved it, but uh, to improve the performance of uh, small uh, blocks especially. So, so uh, what? Sorry for, for cutting you. So why did we decide to improve the performance, right? Because X1 performance numbers were very, very high. We have a scale-out architecture, so we're using all the available right. controllers in the system. Why did we decide to improve our performance even further? Well, uh, looking forward, also looking at the market landscape, at uh, competitors, at new technologies, we see uh, NVMe as an example. We see that... Uh, uh, Performance is very important, but also what's really important for the customer, for the application and the customer experience is the latencies. And uh, uh, what we saw is that uh, in order to really achieve big improvement and to get closer to uh, what the media, the current media can give us, even comparing to uh, new technologies, we must uh, do a big jump in terms of latency without uh, sacrificing with the cost of the without devices. without sacrificing the cost which is not yet there for uh, for NVMe mm -hmm. for example so we wanted to gain the value of this, the low latency on one hand and still be uh, very effective in price right. uh, on the other hand okay cool so so that was the design criteria and what have we done to actually achieve that okay so Actually, this is something I can uh, we can walk through the regular I/O flow mm -hmm. and, sure. and see uh, what what did we do. So the regular I/O flow, uh, the data gets to the compute model. If if it's a small block, we need to go and read from the uh, from the data model the old data. Mm -hmm. This operation usually, as we are, we don't have cache, usually it's a read from the from the flash. We mod modify the data, calculate the new signature of the data, and write it to the new place. Right. And all this is done synchronously under the user I/O, so the user gets or pays the penalty of the latency of the entire operation. So what we did here is actually when what happens in the new flow in X in X two, 
what we call the right boost. The data lands in the compute model. Mm -hmm. We persist it in the NVRAM. Across and at least two available storage yes, controllers in the system, yes, right? Yes, yes, clearly. And, uh, and acknowledge the user immediately without doing the, all the other operations are not done synchronously. Later on, we do the destaging uh, flow where we aggregate several such requests and do the same operation but in an aggregated way mm -hmm. um, in the uh, uh, asynchronous flow. And here we gain another uh, big value, which is the aggregation, because we know that all operations are more effective CPU-wise, bandwidth-wise, and even uh, SSD-wise when we, we do them in a batch and not one by one. So we gain a lot of ab absolute value by doing this, uh, this part, this work uh, in an aggregative way later on. Nice, so, nice. So, and you can see also in the workloads both the improvement in the latency and the improvement in the bandwidth. Right. So, so for example, give me a workload that will improve its latency. What was the improvement factor? So, we have an example of uh, Oracle OLTP reference workload where we see about, I think, 26% uh, improvement in IOPS. And, but the big, uh, uh, the big differentiator is the, I think, 0 0.6 uh, millisecond latency instead of 2.4 right. uh, milliseconds. So more than 80% improvement yeah. of latency yeah. just because of the right boost feature. That's correct. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, right, so that was right boost, right? That's one of the secrets of, I think, of the X2 platform that nobody really understands or knows about. Everybody yes. expect to get better performance because you're using later Intel generation CPUs, which is true, but they don't give you 80% better of anything, cool. right? Maybe 15% top. So, so that, that was the performance enhancement then. But we've also mentioned the fact that apart from improving the performance, we've also wanted to improve the cost of the array. That's correct. Right? So in X2, we can scale out just like X1. Yeah. But the two new things, the ability to A, HD can accommodate up to 72 drives as opposed to the 25. Mm -hmm. You can scale up, That's which is right, something you could not have done in X1. You don't need to fully populate the DAE on day one. But have we done anything software-wise in X2 that improved the cost per gig? Okay, so we've done a lot, but I assume you're referring to the data reduction right. improvement. So yeah, we... In X2, we are also introducing a 25 on average percent uh, of data reduction improvement, some cases even higher. Um, so actually what we did is uh, also, by the way, here we also looked at our install base and mm -hmm. saw uh, statistics on the compression ratios right. and analyzed the data and uh, we improved our uh, compression granularity and the, uh, and the efficiency of the packaging. We didn't change the compression algorithm, but we changed the way, we improved the way we pack uh, blocks. So single block can be compressed up to by 16. Mm -hmm. um, doing that, keeping the simplicity and the scheme of the XDP as it is today. The unique uh, RAID-like algorithm that yeah. we have in XDML, yes. right? So, and, and this is the value. Also here we have uh, examples of uh, beta customers mm -hmm. who move their data from X1 to X2 and we see this uh, huge right. improvement. Right, right. So, beta compression, the way that I see data reduction in general is it's like an art. You don't start with the best data reduction on day one. You keep improving and improving and, and fine-tuning fine it to, to get the best data reduction out of the system. So yeah, I think that along with the fact that we now support larger drives, by the way, that we didn't mention 1.9 terabytes yeah. in larger drives, it will support in the very near future as well. 72 drives yes. per DAE and better data reduction for the drives that we're already using. These together give you a huge boost over X1 in terms of data reduction and actually data efficiency dollar per gigabyte yeah. in the platform itself. So that's very good, very yes, good. Indeed. Anything else that you want to, to add? No. Okay. So thank you very much. So that Thanks. was another, another recording of us talking about X2. Thank you.